We're here at Fly Nyan in New Jersey, and guess what? We're getting the opportunity to shoot with the new Sony A7R5. And I'm here with Craig from Craig's Beds, and he's gonna be my mentor for the day and show me the ropes on aerial photography. Are you ready? Absolutely. So what's your weapon of choice for today? The Sony A7R5 with the 1635 2.8 G Master lens. Mm, and so because of that, I'm choosing the 24 to 70 G Master just so we can compete a little bit and see who gets the better shot. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Absolutely. Wow, what an incredible flight. I cannot thank Fly Nyan enough for letting us do this and letting me test out this new camera up in the sky. Craig was really an amazing mentor and instructor and teacher, and I wanna share a little bit of what he shared with me so that way you get to do it when you're up in the sky. Auto ISO. You should remember that these are very smart cameras and they're much smarter than you. So you should let them do the work. The reason is you wanna be able to pay attention to the rest of your settings, your levels, making sure that your aperture is right and then you're getting the shots that you want. So let the camera do the work for auto ISO. You can set the maximum ISO to make sure that it also doesn't go way too high. And while I know it might be hard for us control freaks to give up that full manual control, but Think about it, you're on a helicopter, you only have 15 to 30 minutes to really get those shots. So it's one less thing to think about and honestly, you're probably going to mess up your shots if you are the one figuring out what ISO to use. Craig told me to make sure that my shutter speed is at at least 250, maybe even up to 400. While the buildings aren't moving, but you are definitely moving and you're moving fast. Craig suggested shooting between 2.8 and F8 is a pretty good sweet spot, so it gives you actually a pretty big range. Just remember, the buildings are all equal distance from you, so you can still shoot at a 2.8 and get it pretty sharp, but it's all depending on how much light you have. So you'll have to kind of go between 2.8 and F8 and see where that sweet spot is. But the best part is you don't have to worry about the ISO. The next thing is levels, making sure that your level is displayed on your LCD screen or in your EVF. The reason is it's going to make sure that you don't get any distortion on the corners of your camera. Remember, the helicopter is moving and bobbing all over the place. So making sure that you're paying attention to the level is going to make sure that the full frame looks sharp, perfect, centered, and leveled. I was shooting in high continuous mode. The reason is you don't have a lot of time up there. While it's a little bit of spray and pray, but it really is to make sure that you're getting that composition that you're going for. The helicopter is moving, so you can be shooting the whole sequence and at least one of those is gonna be that composition that you're aiming for. A running theme here is that you don't have a lot of time. So I did have a couple shots in mind before I even went up there. This actually was my first time, but I knew that there were really two or three shots that I really wanted to make sure I got. One being, as cliche as it may be, is making sure that my shoes and a cool background was in frame. And I think I got it. Another one was having the Empire State Building centered along with the other buildings, but it being that prominent building. But it's always great when you get some surprises and we did have the opportunity to circle around Lady Liberty at least three times. And this really helped me get that centered beauty shot that I was really, really hoping for.
the Sony a7R5. I mean, you're almost guaranteed going up there and coming back with amazing shots with this camera. I'm actually used to shooting with the Sony a7R4 and I am just as happy as day one being able to still have that 60 megapixels and you know really knowing that I'm going to be able in post to crop in a little bit if I was a little far especially because I had a bit of a wider lens. But one of the best parts now is with the Sony a7R5 is that I can also shoot 10-bit video. I love to shoot both photo and video so now now with the a7R5, I, can, I was able to go back and forth from photo and video and getting the most high quality content possible. I was able to get 60 megapixels, I was able to get 4K 60 frames per second in 10 bit. I mean, it's really, really amazing. And I don't know how anybody's gonna be able to take this camera from me because I'm gonna hold it with a very tight grip. Another plus with the new Sony A7R5 is the CFast Type A memory card. And it's a little bit nerdy to say that, but especially when you're up there in a helicopter and you're shooting in burst mode for basically 30 minutes straight, having a very, very fast card like the CF Type A is honestly crucial for me and making sure that there's no buffer time in waiting to be able to shoot again. And we can't forget the articulating screen. This is a huge new feature for all Sony cameras. This screen really can go in every direction you want. And being in the helicopter, we were tight with the seat belts and the harness, and it was really hard to be able to like bring my head and bring it to the camera, especially in the EVF. With the screen, I was able to turn it vertical, horizontal. I had no issue ever seeing what I was shooting. This really was such an amazing afternoon. Really a check off on my bucket list. This was my first time ever and I cannot thank again Fly Nyon for letting us go up there and having such an amazing experience. Craig for being such a great mentor and really teaching me a lot of new things. But now I think I'm hit with the helicopter bug so now I'm gonna wanna come back here every week with this camera specifically and test out some more shots. What are you most excited about this new Sony a7R5 and what type of photography are you gonna shoot with it? We already know that portrait and landscapes, it's a heavy hitter, but what are you gonna use it for? Let us know in the comments. I'm Maria and thanks for watching.